I've been playing Minecraft for ages. Not quite as long as some people. I know that some of you have been playing since Classic. Fair play to you. I started on the tail end of Alpha, but Beta is really where I began to fall in love with this game. Oh, by the way, I'm not being rude. It's just front-facing cameras weren't a thing in this version. And this version, as you can tell from the top left-hand corner, is Minecraft Beta 1.8.1. In my opinion, one of the most important updates in Minecraft as it introduced a bunch of things that completely changed how the game was played. Played. Creative mode was added, sprinting was introduced, and the food system was overhauled to the system that we have today. It was a total game changer. Like, a complete, a complete overhaul. And today, we're going to be trying our best to do some redstone in it. Now, I should, I should be familiar with all this redstone, because this is really the update where I started really experimenting with redstone, but... <laughs> It, it's been a while. The hidden crafting bench. For anyone who played Minecraft back in these days, you will know how much of a big deal it was to have a hidden crafting bench in your base. This was like a go-to redstone contraption for some reason, even though crafting benches really aren't that valuable. There's no real reason to hide them. Anyway, I've tried my best to create a circuit that I thought was going to work. Doesn't look like it does. So after a lot of fiddling, I've managed to create this little thing. And that is all functional. It seems to be to do with the fact that if I place redstone on top of this, look, if I place a redstone torch to one side, it seems to redirect it. And that, that is causing some issues with my circuit. So I'm definitely going to have to work around that. But I've got to say, I am curious. Does this work? <laughs> it does, even back now. Like, even back then. Back when redstone was all over the place, doing all sorts of weird stuff, this still works. The color combination lot. When I first started my YouTube channel, these were my jam. These were absolutely my jam. And you know what? We are actually going to make it a little bit more complicated. I'm going to try my best to make a small color combination lock in Minecraft Beta 1.8.1. I'm getting scared just saying it. Oh boy, that's going to make... Oh, oh! It does work! Wait, hang on. Does this only work in one direction? <laughs> Wait a minute. Am I going crazy here or did that not work a second ago? Because I tested this out on the floor. Oh, you can't place buttons on top of blocks. It's directional. <laughs> that is so typical of old Minecraft. Redstone contraptions would work in certain directions and be totally broken in others. So to those of you who are complaining about bugs in Minecraft 1.14, try playing back then. Hey, this is, Minecraft 1.14 is a breeze. I've just realized I've built up everything, everything is working, the piston feed tape is fine, and then, uh, yeah, there's no, there's no cauldrons, there's no power blocks or anything like that, so I can't actually send a redstone signal out from my feed tape, so it's, it's fundamentally flawed from ground zero. Whose idea was it to play in such an old rubbish version of Minecraft? My word, redstone was weird back then. I don't remember any of this stuff being a thing. I seriously don't remember this being a thing. I'm sure that's useful, but what? See what I mean? <laughs> it's just weird. And after dealing with that weirdness for quite some time, I've actually come up with something that works, amazingly enough. So this is my color combination lock. It has 100 possible combinations. It runs off of piston feed tapes, and it looks rather lovely, doesn't it? I mean, look at this. Check that out. I've managed to do some serious compact redstone right here. And if we hit this button a couple times, we can see that the colors cycle round, and I believe that is the correct color for this side. And then if we just hit this and hit this, you can see we have the correct combination and our little piston has extended. Now, if I made this back in 2011 or 2012, right now I would be giddy with excitement. I would be booting up my recording software to make a video on my brand new combination lock that I've designed that's super compact, modular, Tileable, all that sort of thing. In a way, I kind of wish I could go back in time and just be a genius at Redstone. <laughs> you know, people wish they could go back in time to invest in companies that have done well or pick the lottery tickets and things. Me, I just want to go back and make the best Redstone contraptions. I've just remembered, we can build old piston elevators. Piston elevators actually work in the beta versions of Minecraft. At least, I'm fairly certain. I think it was Minecraft 1.3? official release where they made a change to the single player client to allow LAN worlds and that stopped piston elevators working properly although that could be all totally wrong. Now I'm hoping it should be as simple as this so all we have is some redstone torch towers and then we have some repeaters running into the back pistons and it should kind of zip us up to the top at great speed 
That is the plan. Not 100% certain it's going to work because, as I say, these are currently quite unreliable in Minecraft. Like, if you build one of these in Minecraft 1.14, there's like a 50 50 chance that you're going to get to the top. But I believe they were more stable back in the day, believe it or not. Oh, my word! I had forgotten that at one point there was no such thing as an upside down half slab. That. That has blown my mind. How did how did we survive in Minecraft without that? Anyway, this is my right here totally totally hasn't worked. So I'm gonna go back to the drawing board because clearly I've done something wrong. And after watching a video that I made in 2013, I found out that I had done something wrong. So I built that design, and it's it still doesn't work. Yeah, no, it still still doesn't function. It is all timed perfectly, and. We just get stuck. So maybe there was a sweet spot. I think there was a sweet spot for piston elevators where they didn't work in Minecraft 1.8.1 because everything was just all a little bit broken. You know, pistons had only just been introduced in the previous update, so they were still a tiny bit all over the place. And then at some point, these things became possible, and then they broke again. Whatever. Let's build a 2x2 seamless glass piston door, shall we? Now as a bit of mumbo jumbo trivia information that all of you, or at least a lot of you, have heard about a million times over, this is one of the first serious redstone contraptions that I worked on, and one of my first popular redstone builds. So naturally, it holds a very good place in my heart? I forgot what the saying is. It's something, I don't think it was that. Anyway, I'm sure you'll let me know down in the comment section. Stage 1 is done, which is to get the sp- Ooh. Oh! Oh, I'd forgotten about that! You could get fast presses on buttons if you like. You you, the button press depended. I've forgotten about that. So you didn't get consistent button presses. You could press the button in a way that was shorter by moving around. <laughs> God, I'm glad they fixed that because that is that's a nightmare. And I know I totally failed to demonstrate it there. I tried my best, but it used to happen every now and again and just ruin stuff. I am so close to getting this done. Oh, it's it's almost painful. All I need to do is extend out this pulse right here, but I can't add any delay. So normally what I do is place a transparent block here and then put some repeaters round. That's all good because the redstone signal wouldn't be able to go back round, creating like an infinite powering loop. But in this version of Minecraft, although we can place redstone on top of glowstone, glowstone is considered a solid block. So redstone signals can actually travel down it, which they can't normally do in later versions of Minecraft, so we can't use that. It's, I'm honestly, I'm so confused by redstone redirection in this version of Minecraft. It, it makes zero logical sense to me. You know what, as much as I've been complaining about this version of Minecraft and how strange it is, it's actually been really, really fun just trying my best to problem solve using such few components. Like nowadays you have a lot of options for what you can do if you run into a problem. It's like maybe if I use some observers here, maybe if I use some, some comparators, some hoppers, you, you have the slime blocks, you have the whole lot. Whereas with this, it's literally you've got redstone, you've got a repeater and you've got a redstone torch. Solve it. I'll tell you something else that I forgot about, how useful it is that we can hold shift and place blocks on things that have inventories and things like that. Like if you've got a dispenser, you literally can't place redstone on top of it. So redstone can go on top of it, but oh, what did we used to do? That. Yeah, you used to have to do that. And then to get a torch on the side of it, I think, yep, that was it. <laughs> so you had to right click on a glass block, which obviously you can't put a torch on the side of, and then it will go onto the side of the dispenser. Anyway, my door's done and it's pretty small. It's, I mean, it's a lot smaller than my original seamless glass piston door. I can promise you that. That thing was absolutely enormous. Whereas this, four blocks wide, it almost fits within its own footprint of pistons. It's, uh, yeah, it's quite small. It's pretty fast as well. If we hit the button, you can see everything moves out of the way. Everything pushes back down. We hit the button again. Every... This is what I mean about the buttons. This is what we had to work with. So as I was demonstrating, this is the opening. Come on, work. Yes, there we go. And the closing. Good. I wonder what happens if I build up the regular bottom of a 3x3 piston door. I'm honestly just really curious to see what happens here. I'm not expecting much, I can promise you that. I just... I want to see what occurs. <laughs> Wait a second! Hang on! The first bit actually works! <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, we might be on to something. The second part is alarmingly close as well. I know that doesn't look like much, but that's almost the beginnings of a double piston extender. 
I think if we... Okay, let's let's think about this. So if we add more delay here, what happens? I almost think we need less delay. So if we have less delay, I am literally just... <gasps> oh my goodness. So I've tweaked around. I've messed with some of the redstone. Look at this. <laughs> I don't believe it. I, I don't believe it. <laughs> I think six years late. I mean, I, this can be cleaned up for sure. And <laughs> they just, uh, oh, I'm at a loss. I, I can't believe it actually works. So if I just fill in the surrounding blocks here, we have got ourselves a fully functioning three by three piston door. <laughs> in Minecraft beta 1.8.1, working real fast. Actually, I mean, it's, yeah, it could be made a little bit smaller, but for the most part, look at it. This would have been groundbreaking back in the day. Honestly, I wish I had a time machine just so I could flex. <laughs> flex on the original Minecraft Redstoners. <laughs> with my tiny piston doors. <laughs> oh, well, this has been a lot of fun. I've heavily enjoyed recording this video. It's been it's been a real blast from the past for me. I mean, this is this is what this is where I started out making redstone videos pretty much in this version of Minecraft. So, tons of fun. Really do hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comment section if there's any other versions of the game you want to see me do redstone in. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next video. See ya. And I got to say this video has got me curious as to what version of Minecraft you guys started playing in because I mean obviously I started as I say I think I caught the last version of alpha and then got the transition into beta and then beta really was my jam um, but I'm sure there's some of you out there who are proper old school like Minecraft classic people